Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Rambo. Uh, we're gonna our goal. Our goal today is to pull these cars up, and we're gonna run them over, or try to run them over. Then we're gonna do a little off-road uh, mudding, water bogging, whatever you wanna call it. But I sped it up. Hope you guys enjoy the music, cause yeah, I enjoy it a little bit. So yeah, pretty cool. I sped this up times two because. And I cut a lot of stuff out because I had so many problems getting this all set up. Just didn't work right. <laughs> so what we're seeing here now is me setting the cars up. Just kind of pulling them because you cannot drive these cars at all in the mud. They just spin. I kind of got diverted off down the hill. So I was like, why not just drive it down here? So to the next one. I tried to put the tow system on this truck, but it was uh, up inside the cab and it looked goofy. So there was no point even having it on there. So I just put the trailer hitch or the tractor you know semi attacher fifth wheel thing on the back to make it look more like a semi this truck does really well in the mud it does really well all over the place <laughs> can you imagine how heavy this truck is it's probably pretty dang heavy I would guess so I got some camera here because there was just no point watching me haul it all the way up here in a bit well right now actually in a little bit but right now we're actually having in real speed. There again, I said you could not pull it or you cannot drive it. It won't pull itself in the mud. You had to push it, do whatever you want to do with it. So why not use a bumper on the front of the truck? That's what it's made for. Push them big old trucks, man. It's a pretty good truck. Differentials, if you unlock them, you'll turn better. I was having a little bit of problems. So I decided to just skip it because I had so many problems. The truck wanted to drive up on it and push it around, like, on its side. Not actually around, but... And see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it was a good time, though. It was really fun. I mean, I had fun. I'll probably do some more spin tires soon. I try to mix it all up between shooter and spin tires, and I enjoy both of them very much. So, like I said, I'm a country person, so a country boy. So why not enjoy that? You know, all the cool things you can actually do in the country, and it's cheaper on the game. It's not as fun on the game, but it's cheaper. So yeah, that, that's one thing you can do. You know, what you can't do in real life is just ram stuff. We can do it in real life, but it's gonna cost you a whole bunch of money, and that's. Seems like it's kind of hard to come by these days. I mean, unless you're rich and you still don't want to spit it off. All right, here's the first one we're gonna try out. Not sure, not too much uh, traction on this truck, just so you guys know that, in the mud. But I wanted to give it a go because it was cool looking. The idle sound sounded awesome. So let's just give it a go here. It goes pretty well in the mud though. Some goofy looking tires though, man. They look like they come straight out of the garage. They was welded together. That's what it looks like. Let's get a good angle here to punch it. But as we can see, this truck sucks in mud on the side. I mean, you got problems in real life kind of like this. It just tires want to spin. But you see what I'm talking about? All right, guys, as you can see, I did not, I had to get some different traction, so I went around the other side to give it a go, because just too money on that side, I just could not get what I wanted, and it still has not worked. So this truck is all right, I guess. I want to try this again, probably do it in another video sometime, probably in a day or two. I don't really want to flood it with the same videos because it kind of gets boring and annoying, and it's all kind of craziness. What I will do, don't worry. Do my own unique. If someone else does something, I'll just do it different or better. <laughs> I've done this shit in real life. Not with these big suspension trucks, but I've done it with railroad pickups and stuff. It's pretty fun. So this car was like something neat I wanted to try. So let's give it a go here, and that's what it does. It actually works a lot better. But the sound is not. It's just a straight roll semi-diesel. 
<laughs> it's fun though, let me tell you, it's pretty fun. It's a fun uh, thing. I thought about doing a little mud pit run with these. Because they do seem like they get, a well, get around well in the mud. <laughs> and then I messed up here. I tried to ride a wheelie up that. Nothing could pull that up there, so... Yeah. I got the one truck stuck to six by six, so yeah. So I decided to go down here at the bottom hill because you can't get in fourth gear unless you're going down. It's really, really crazy. Then I decided to do a donut. It's very hard to do a donut in this truck. You have to turn the keep the full wheel drive on, otherwise you sit there and spin. It's not like real life. Oh, and I about rolled it. That was cool. Oh, these cars are badass, but they do not go that fast. They are low geared, and the third gear feels like second gear, I think, or fourth gear feels like third gear. It doesn't really do much different on shifting lines. That's about as fast as it goes right there. About as fast as it, it even, you know, you can even probably get it to go faster. I don't know, maybe you might get it to go faster if you go downhill, but it's... You put in 30, you just can't go nowhere. Let's grab the other one. There's some smaller, like, normal size cars. But I wanted the lifted stuff. I like the lifted stuff. And there is these tires, but they don't really do much different. One's black, one's white, rims. They sound really cool though, I like the sound of them. They sound really awesome. Same speed, there's nothing different about it. Nothing nothing new, nothing actually, it's the same. They look really cool though, I do like the style, the idea of it, concept. <laughs> but it doesn't go very fast. Now we have this truck again. I like this truck. It just flips real easy. Like if you uh, go on a little bit of an incline, you're dead. You're like falling over. It dies. It falls on its side and dies. This is what it does. It almost flipped there. The weight is like really weird, like top heavy. I don't know why it is. Because most of the time, suspension trucks like that, lifted ones, the tires are on the outside of the body a little bit so it balances it more out. And that's what happens. <laughs> I want to get some fast speed a little bit and I want to try this truck out again. So I decided just to give it a go. It was fun. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and do all that cool stuff and there will be something out later. Bye bye.